Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brendan Plays and welcome to Battlefield 1 Gun Trends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Bar M1918 Storm. It is a LMG that is available on the support class. Basically, in this series, we're going to be analyzing a different gun every single episode, showcasing what I do, what I don't like about the weapons, and if I would recommend for all of you Battlefield players out there to use this weapon. First of all, the Bar is my most used weapon in the game thus far. It's a weapon that I feel as though is useful in a number of different close combat situations. I'm a primarily a team deathmatch player, obviously coming from Call of Duty majority of the time. But over the last few years, I've been morphing myself into a Battlefield player more and more. But I still love going back to team deathmatch and playing that game mode. So the bar for me is a perfect gun for this game mode. It's great. It plays a little bit like an assault rifle. The only real downfall about this gun is the fact that it only has 20 bullets per clip. That is a major, major downside because at the moment, there's other LMGs in there that you can have up to 40, 50, or even over 100 bullets per clip to use for your advantage. This gun only has 20 and that means that when you're in a situation where there's more than one, maybe two, maybe three players at the same time, which certainly happens a lot in Team Deathmatch as I've found out over playing over the last couple of weeks, there is a very common chance that you're going to find more than one player in different interactions. So you'll notice that this weapon will let you down when you're trying to get more than one kill at one point, but it does have pretty good damage and it's certainly very good for more close combat situations. Now I certainly wouldn't recommend this gun for a bigger game mode such as Conquest because you'll find that the range will let you down and obviously not having enough bullets and I don't know how I survived this. I mean this, this is nuts. That guy just needs to turn the game off and never play it again. Honestly that was embarrassing by me and a little bit by him as well. I mean come on. Uh, but anyways we somehow survived that but the bar I mean it is a gun that I definitely would recommend for Team Deathmatch. Like I said it's my most used weapon and the reason why I like it is because it's powerful but it plays a little bit like an assault rifle. I'm more majority of an assault rifle player and the problem with ba Battlefield is that there isn't currently that many assault rifles that you can really use that are fully automatic. I think the thing that's probably the closest to me is the sweeper on the medic class that I like to use but even then it doesn't really play like an automatic assault rifle it's more like a single fire gun that's you know you can play as an automatic. The bar though, having only 20 bullets, you can move around pretty quickly, it doesn't feel like an LMG so much in terms of movement, it's a weapon that I would certainly recommend if you are a player that is very fond of the assault rifles in previous games, because unfortunately Battlefield 1 does not really feature too many. So the bar is certainly something that you can really substitute as, as that type of weapon. And it certainly plays like that as well, and like I said, I'm a majority of a team deathmatch player, and it's a gun that I can really get some good scores on. And I, like I said, the only real issue is the multi-kill situation. I found myself using the, the Madsen MG a lot more because of that, having a few more extra bullets, being able to spray a little bit more as well, and being able to execute a lot more plays and earn myself a lot more kills, but obviously the damage on the bar is much, much better. So if you are looking to perhaps run around a little bit more rather than take it slowly, the bar is certainly a weapon that you can rely on in close combat situations, and it can even go up against the Assault Class SMGs pretty well as well. But um, it's certainly a weapon I highly do recommend. And obviously the support class, I think is the best class in the game in my opinion, alongside the medic. The support class, it gives yourself ammo, and that's a real key th feature in Team Deathmatch. If you are streaking, getting yourself ammo is pivotal. Nobody really gives out ammo too much. I don't think there's a lot of people met usually running the support class, so you don't really get many opportunities to get ammo, so being able to do it yourself is crucial. I know that it's been so many times where I run out of ammo on, on different classes when I'm not playing a support because I'm on a good kill streak, I'm doing well, but I have to try and find another gun to pick up or try and rely on my secondary to get me through, and that's obviously not going to work majority of the time. So it's certainly a gun that can, re can rely on, and somehow, once again, we survived this situation here as well. But obviously being able to give yourself more ammo constantly, it's certainly something that I think you can use, and you can use very successfully. The thing about the bar is, is that I, I didn't really try and turn to the bar right until perhaps after 20, 30 hours of gameplay because I was using the Madsen or the Lewis and I was having a lot of success with those weapons. So for me personally, when I have a lot of success on a certain gun, I'm pretty reluctant to change to anything else. If I'm doing well, I'm happy with that and I'm happy to keep on sticking with that gun for as long as I possibly can until I feel the need to try and switch it up. So you can see there's a couple of instances there where really you can mow down your opponent pretty easily at close quarter range right there. Now a bit more of a mid-range type of fight, certainly in Team Deathmatch anyways. 
it, it does let you down a little bit more there. It really will take majority of the clip to get those kills, but certainly close combat, you can rack up two or three quick kills pretty easily. So certainly, like I said, Team Deathmatch, this gun will do you a lot of good in my opinion. But it's something that I would probably steer clear of in the longer game modes. Maybe other than Domination, I wouldn't probably touch it unless you're playing Team Deathmatch. So you can see, pretty easily to kill there and really does some solid damage that you can really use to your advantage. And I certainly think it's something that um, you should definitely try out. Like I said, I was a little reluctant to try it because how familiar and how comfortable I was getting with the other uh, LMGs in the support class. But once I did try it, I really found myself having a lot of success with the gun and I haven't really turned back yet. So obviously when you rank up, you unlock more weapons. And I think it's really a good idea to try out more weapons. It's something that I really lack in, in doing. I need to try and do that a little bit more. I, I, I kind of just stick with the same type of guns. But it's a really good idea. It's a really good idea to try out different weapons, and I definitely think this gun is on your list. It's certainly something that I don't think will suit everybody's game style, but I certainly think it's something that you can use if you're more of a run and gun type of player like myself, or try and hold down a position as well. Uh, I think yeah, I think you'll have a lot of success with it, in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts on this weapon in Battlefield 1. Hope you guys like something a little bit different on the channel. I'm no Battlefield expert. I currently have about a 2.75 KD on the game, so I mainly play Team Deathmatch. So I feel as though I can lend a few tips and tricks here and there for some of the newer players to Battlefield or someone who's just looking to how or for someone who's just looking for a little bit more information about some different guns and some something to try out in the future. But uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you do leave a like if you are new to the channel or if you want to subscribe to the channel to see more videos, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for me. We'll be back with another episode of Gun Trials very, very soon as we're going to continue to try every different gun in the game. I haven't used every weapon in the game, so it's a great opportunity for me to try all the different guns to give my thoughts and opinions on every weapon in the game. I'm a huge Battlefield player. I love playing Battlefield. I, it's one of my favorite games right now. I've been a big player of Battlefield for the last number of years, so it's great to actually really sink my teeth into a shooter for the first time. Going back to my roots a little bit, I used to do Battlefield videos on my old channel. It's been a long time since I've done it, but I'm going to keep on uploading some different types of games in the future going forward to give you guys some variety. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.